Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page today in this uh, art journal, uh, this is craft paper and you can make it in any uh, journal you have and the main uh, thing today is I want to show you how to make this gorgeous uh, butterflies, it, they are so easy and you can customize them to whatever project you are making with whatever colors you have but first of all I want to start with uh, the background so I'm moving this aside I've got here gesso and I've got here joint compound I don't use modeling paste I like to use this uh, any kind of um, already made paste from the hardware store if it's wood filler if it's joint compound wall compound whatever you call it that's what I'm using it's cheaper it comes in a big bucket <laughs> so and I like the texture it gives me it gives me a distressed and grungy look in the background especially if I'm uh, mixing it with uh, the gesso so I've got this too and I also got two um, the colors here I've got leaf green and forest green by deco art I'm going to put a little bit of each here and I'm going to take a, a brush with very hard bristles the cheapest there is I love this it gives me a lot of texture in the background so what I'm doing is just taking from each the gesso and the wall compound and now I'm just playing. I've put a masking tape here to protect the spiral otherwise it gets paint and uh, this paste and it w the pages won't move. Now I'm dipping my brush into just a little bit one of the colors and going in and this is quite random I just want to have some color in several places like an old wall You can put the gesso and the joint compound or modeling paste, whatever you have, uh, directly on your page or like uh, I did here and just whatever you're more comfortable with. So as you can see, lots and lots of texture here. And I'm taking color, but I'm mixing it as I go so I've got hints of it but it's not a uh, prominent on the page I like that it's not completely white, that it has stains of color in inside this I can also add where I want more color, more variation if I think the texture is not enough I'm going back in and adding more paste yeah you 
if you want more you can also go like this and almost dry brush on top and it's it's drying uh, quite quickly gesso and joint compound are drying really quickly you can also uh, as long as it's still wet you can make marks on it if you want to yeah this is it for for now for the background I'm going to move this aside put the brush quickly into a jar with water you don't want it to dry and we are going to move to making the butterflies so making the butterflies a uh, several ways to go about it let's move this and you need uh, either acrylic paints and the cheaper and runny uh, the best uh, you, it's hard to work with the, the ones that are heavy uh, acrylics uh, or if you have I've got these sprays that are supposed to be for a uh, textile for fabric and they are runny so they also uh, make a good uh, paint for making this the flowers so uh, when uh, not flowers the butterflies <laughs> okay so for first of all paper either you use a uh, book pages but not something uh, new because the quality of the paper these days it's not it will not stand all this paint that is going to be on it so it's either a uh, book pages if you want the extra uh, details in the back I think I have one here don't know how much you can see but there is text in the back so it's either book pages uh, any kind of craft uh, paper uh, scrapbook paper a little bit heavy it's uh, difficult to you use a uh, printer paper but i will show you a way also to work with printer paper paper this is bristol i think it's 140 grams for a page and this is quite uh, good if you have watercolor paper it's great because it will let the paint move and not soak in uh, in in seconds and you need the paint to move that's why you also need a paint that is runny and not paste so let's start we'll do one book page and I don't care that uh, it has smears here I'm just folding it in half and taking the colors that I want and I can do like this I can the sprays don't work they are clogged that's why I'm opening them and I prefer to pick some dark colors and something like this neon pink because it will give more uh, interesting effect the, mo the more a uh, contrast between the colors uh, the more interesting the it will be now darker colors I like to have in the middle because uh, then the inside of the butterfly will be darker but it's just a uh, your whatever you like do so I'm just putting all kinds of uh, colors now I'm taking a little a little bit of water and it's better if it's it sprays like mist and not a very harsh uh, spray of water and now just doing smooshing it like this don't take too much time 
because you don't want it to stick together. Now, if I have uh, places that uh, didn't get paint, I can go back in again. And let's just put some acrylic paint now. It really doesn't matter. You can always uh, open it, add more. I'm helping the paint move on the page. So you see the acrylic paint uh, is harder to uh, move around, but I can again spray it, smoosh it. I can also take some uh, plastic card or anything and do something like that to help everything move. And here we go. Now you need to, this to be completely dry before you do anything with it. So I'm moving this aside. Let me show you just on this, uh, this is Brist Bristol. And it's going to be the same way. But now I'm going to show you how, well, Let's do something. I'm going to do this only with acrylics just so you can see that it can work with acrylics. And then I'll show you the technique how you can use printer paper. Although it's not a uh, great. It's hard to work with a printer paper. Okay, so spraying it. Again, if you have watercolor paper, then it would be easier. Smooshing, you can take again some plastic card or whatever and here we go. I love it. If you want more details, again, you can go in you can even uh, put some, let's put some here on the side, taking a fan brush with water, doing something like that, splattering, smooshing, interesting effect. So, this is on Bristol. And now I'm going to show you how you make it on printer paper. Let's just... For now... Okay, this is printer paper. And for this we are going to do it backwards. You take a plastic bag, the, not the thin one, something like this. You need the folded section. It's almost like a uh, mono printing. Now, if you have a, a plastic bag that is transparent, it's even better because then you can see where your colors are going when you are smooshing them. Let's add from the green. And a little bit. Okay, again, a little bit of water, smooshing it. I can uh, see a little bit what's going on and I'm just Moving uh, the paint where I see that there isn't paint, like this. Now I'm opening it. Very, very nice. And taking the printer paper and smooshing. Monoprinting for that matter. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
and here you have it on printer paper and again if you don't if you have a blank spaces that you don't like you can go again you can add more paint you can add another color and go over it just play and have fun so moving all this aside <clears throat> so taking uh, the ones I have already made and are dry here they are and uh, this is Bristol this is just the book pages and all you need to do now is pick some uh, butterfly stamps you have and stamp away now I'm putting them on a craft foam just so the a print of the stamp would be a better when you have a give underneath so taking I'm a using Ranger Ica archival ink it's a permanent ink uh, pad taking one of the butterflies putting it here in the middle where the crease was and stamping and I'm holding it and putting pressure I really want a nice complete print like so and you can do whatever sizes you want any butterflies you want big small whatever you have and now you only have to fussy cut it now another thing if you have a butterfly punch and you don't care about all these details you can also punch your butterfly it's okay again in the middle and I've got a butterfly now even with the punch if you're really liking this particular uh, shape you have uh, for a butterfly and you really want it but you still want details you can always take a stamp that is a little bit bigger than your shape and just add a little bit of details by putting it on <laughs> it's stuck and now you have little details on your uh, punch shape so all kinds of options to uh, go about it now another thing you can do with this kind of uh, paper that you made you can stamp all along all kinds of butterflies it doesn't have to be the same one right now I'll just use the same one so I won't go looking for another like so and now let's take This is just another ID. Now this is quite dark so uh, it's a little bit difficult to see the details of the butterflies but now I can take this and use it in one of my journals like this one of my junk journals. Let's see and use it as a border or as a focal point or whatever so another idea for you so moving along so we've got lots and lots of butterflies to play with and i've got a mess as usual <laughs> you can't make art without a mess <laughs> <laughs> 
I really need to make it into a saying in one of my <laughs> pages. Okay, so here is the background. I think, yeah, I think it's a quite a, a dry and I want to add details to my background. I can stamp on it, I can stencil on it, and I'm going to do, I think, both. I've got this stencil that I made. It was inspired by some flower I've seen, a, a cutout, a magazine cutout I've used. I think I made a page out of it. Here it is. That's the inspiration to this stencil I made on this is just acetate and I've uh, drew and cut the shapes. Took me a long time, but it was worth it. So I've got this stencil and I, I'm going to randomly put some flowers on my page. I'm going to use this press ink and uh, this is seedless preserve using this brush this is a makeup brush of some kind don't know what it's used for for makeup I just know it's for makeup and very gently I just want it faded in the back like so Let's take I don't want the whole stem here just random flowers in several places and faded I don't want it to overwhelm my page I love elements that are going off, off page. Let's do another one here. I'm also planning on some leaves again faded in the background nothing to overwhelm it's a background to uh, my uh, butterflies they are the star of the page yeah Okay, so I'm leaving it be right now, this particular stencil. I didn't, uh, I think I didn't bring any uh, leaf stencil, so shame on me for not being prepared. Mm, let's see. Okay, so another one, no. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just looking through my stencil of, uh, and here is one stencil with, let's see. I'm gonna start with, this is bundled sage. Let's see how it goes on the page because I'm afraid it's a uh, it won't be noticed but let's see my brush is not clean enough but uh, the fact that uh, it had this purple is now mixing with the sage and creating a very nice color so I don't care 
Okay. So I'm going, I think I'm going to continue with this. Let's see. Yes, it works. Who knew? Because when I'm doing this, I can hardly see any impact on my page. But when you lift it, you do see that it worked. It's very subtle, but that's that's the whole idea here. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this uh, stencil and the bundled sage, and I'll come back. I'm back. So here is my uh, background. I thought about stamping, but I love it as is. I want to keep it this way. And now it's time for the butterflies. And now it's just playing with the placement of the butterflies, having fun with it. I think this is it. I'm going to glue this down and I'll come back. I'm back. So my butterflies are in place. I I drew with a permanent uh, marker the antennas. Now you can also add shading or uh, ink a little bit around the edges for a uh, more uh, emphasis and directionality uh, no <laughs> direction more uh, uh, dimensionality uh, for that you can take something spongy like this and just go around or underneath like so to add a little bit of shadow Most of the time I'll do something like that. This time I'm not really concerned about it. So I'm not really putting any effort into it. You can also use to below all purpose and you know just go underneath your butterflies and activate with water, but as I said, not really this time I don't really care about making a shadow. I'm only going to stamp here. I've got uh, this stamp that says a uh, fly away. And I'm using the same uh, seedless preserve uh, that I've uh, used in the back for these flowers. And I'm just going to stamp it away here. yeah i love it i'm in love with this page now i want this is finished i'll bring it closer so you can see uh, all the details and i want to show you another uh, page i've done mostly with the same technique but different colors and here it is same a uh, distressed uh, background only different colors and the same technique making the butterflies so you can do whatever you want you can play with it with any colors that you like this is it <laughs> i hope you liked it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now